Speaking of locker rooms, let's go on to everyone's favorite subject and, and the <laughs> Lakers because they are going to have a very interesting locker room as well. Bobby, what's yeah. your what's the mark you're giving to L.A.? Uh, a grade I know all about, a C plus here, <laughs> and I think I look at the Lakers, Cassidy. Uh, I certainly give him a, uh, a plus for the Darvin Ham signing, certainly mm -hmm. Patrick Beverly, but I think my concern is you signed uh, seven free agents in the offseason to one-year contracts here. Certainly the Russell Westbrook situation is still lingering, um, but for right now, C+, plus, but for room for improvement to a potential B. Hmm. Momo, Bobby oh. says the Lakers still have that room to improve depending on what they moves do. they make, but are, are there any moves out there for them to actually make? I mean, really the best thing they can do is to play basketball and make this team work, and then there are moves down the line to make, but right now, if you were to trade Russell Westbrook, you'd be trading him at his all-time lowest value at this point. You have to incentivize a trade, and they don't have that much optionality to incentivize a trade. And so the best thing that the Lakers can do right now is just get back out there and play, put a, a roster. They have a roster that, as Bobby said, there's a lot of guys on one-year deals. That's not historically great for team building, uh, but obviously they want to leave open some salary. There's some, some room under the cap for next summer when there are quite a few stars that might become available and that Westbrook contract comes off the books. But the question for the Lakers is, was it the message being delivered to Russell Westbrook or the messenger? That's the biggest change they made is hiring Darvin Ham. Let's see if he's, he's probably delivering a lot of the same messages that Frank Vogel and his staff were delivering. But let's see if he delivers it differently. Let's see if the messenger matters. Bobby, who would you trade for if anyone? Yeah, I mean, I think, it, and, and Ramona hit it right on the head, this is not a training camp deal. It's kind of when we get into the season if this team is kind of sputtering around 500. But certainly the two teams are uh, Utah. We, we've got to circle the Jazz as far as what they're doing there. And I think when you look at Mike Conley and Bojan Bogdanovic, Rudy Gay, those three players fit within um, Russell Westbrook's contract. And then the other team would certainly be Indiana with Miles Turner and, and Buddy Heald. And the big question that will linger is, are the Lakers willing to improve right now, but sacrificing future cap flexibility into next year? Perk, I know you don't have a whiteboard, but you do have a lot of your own segments on this show. I just I want you to do me a favor and just grade this entire segment that we did. I'm going to give it an A+. Plus. Oh. I got to give it an A+. Plus. You know what I mean? It was a lot of insight. It was a lot of back and forth. Anytime you have different opinions and it starts some type of drama and confusion, it's an A-plus in my category. See, it's a good Friday. It's a good, good job. Good job, mm -hmm. Bobby. All right, still to come. <laughs> Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.